Why, Alabama? Jess, why? It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Before I start this video, I have a few things I want to say. This video is not an attack on all Christians. Repeat, this video is not a freaking attack, okay? I personally have no problem if people want to practice their faith. In fact, I believe that people have the right to whatever faith that they want. However, if people impose their faith onto the government, that's when I have a problem. This is precisely why I have a problem with the story I'm about to read from the state of Alabama. Alabama voters approve Ten Commandments Amendment. By the way, this is a reference to our November elections that we had in the United States. The proposal will allow displays in public schools and government buildings in a way that complements with constitutional requirements such as being posted with historical documents. I can't believe I had to say this, but the Ten Commandments is not secular, it's religious. In fact, some of the commandments go against the Constitution. Thou shall not have any other gods before me. If you believe in Buddha, or Zeus, or a lock bar! I'm sorry, you can't. Thou shall not make unto thee any graven image. Basically, if you're an artist and want to create art of Jesus or God, you can't. Thou shall not take the Lord thy God's name in vain. God damn it! Oops. It's very safe to say that the commandments are not secular. This is not the first time that we had this battle between separation of church and state in the United States. For example, the states of Texas and Arkansas. I don't care if you guys want the Ten Commandments at your house, at parties, or any private property. However, separation of church and state is very important. I don't understand how the Bible and Christian symbols have this type of privilege in our government and in schools. For example, if I wanted copies of the Quran across America, there would be protests, there would be outrage, and rightfully so. However, the Bible and Christian symbols have this type of privilege. I don't understand. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. And until next time, it's everyone's friend is Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.